Well, today I'm going to show how to fix um, coffee, semi-automatic coffee machine or fully automatic coffee machine that has a brick unit blocked message. In this case, it's a gadget titanium. Uh, it's probably similar to many other gadget or psycho units that um, use uh, similar components. Um, the message on the unit is brick unit block, but actually the brick unit works just fine. Um, I have it out here. Uh, it's been cleaned up, lubed, and everything works fine. The actual problem is instead the um, power supply. And here we have a board with a power supply. This is the this is the board. The problem is really this transformator here that is not supplying sufficient power to the motor to turn the brew unit. Um, and here what you see is the spindle of the motor um, now I'm going to show you I have a few pieces of paper here here and up right there uh, they're inserted inside the micro switch uh, units just to uh, make sure the machine operates without the brew unit the drive door and the uh, with the door open let me turn it off and i'm gonna turn it on again so it goes through the self-test procedure and you will see that the spindle of the motor is moving very very slowly there you go See now it's stuck with the message pre unit block. Uh, the reason why that happening is happening again is because the transformator is not supplying sufficient power. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the top of the machine. <clears throat> we take the water tank out. There are two screws you need to take out, out from behind the unit, behind the water tank. I already taken those out. Um, it may help you to take out also the two screws that uh, hold uh, uh, the, the drop chewed for the, for the ground coffee. Um, you don't really have to do this, but it's definitely easier if you take this out. And you just pull it out. Be careful, there is a gasket here, don't lose it. Uh, once you have all that out, remove, pull towards the back and remove the lid. Be very gentle because it's attached with cables. You may want to label those cables because uh, um, the blue and the brown, you can use a Sharpie. I use the tape with a Sharpie. And there is an additional green cable attached there. Um, for the time being, we're just going to turn it so that it's not on the way. Um, <clears throat> there we go. And so I'm going to show you that actually the power voltage coming out of the alternator of the transformer excuse me now you see inside you will see this power box the box that covers the power unit um, in my case it was held together by a zip lock which i cut uh, there are you just then you just remove the lid dropping anything hopefully there you go and if you look at the schematics for the machine you will see that the uh, the cables that are going to the to the motor the, by the way the motor is hidden back here if you Initially, I thought the problem was with the motor, and if you want to access the motor, you actually have to take pretty much everything out. Uh, so 
replacing the motor is not really or testing and the motor is not really very simple and now if you want to test the voltage there are two cables right in there um, and if you look at the schematics the blue and the red one are going to the motor so um, it, let me turn off I have a tester here we turn off the machine again and turn it on and it will go again in self-test mode and now you can see that the voltage supply should be 9 volts but it's actually a little over half that um, and again the problem is uh, here where the transformer there uh, you could replace just the transformer, the transformer, the cost of the transformer, if you're good at soldering, the cost of the transformer is less than $10. But in my case, I ended up just buying a new board. Um, the board, I found it from uh, All Lots of Love. It's about, it, it was $107 shipped. There are other places where you can buy it, but I found All Lots of Love to be the cheaper one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just replace the board, unplug the power, of course I don't want to get a shock. And now we're going to go inside, there are two screws that hold the power board. Uh, and one is here, another one is down. I don't know if you can see it, but it's down there. I already taken the screws out. Uh, so I'm just going to stop the video. And all I'm doing is uh, basically taking all the cables one, out one by one and replacing them one by one. I'm going to take a picture also so that I, just in case I don't remember what the cables are, I can see on the picture. I'm going to stop the video and then I'm going to show you again once the board has been replaced. Okay, the new board is in. Um, it helps to have uh, needle nose pliers to get the connectors out because uh, some of them are in tight spaces. Um, now I reconnected the power, the power, put the water tank back in. Um, and just let me show you what is going to happen. I'm going to turn it off very quickly because I don't want the water to spill inside the machine for the self-cleaning cycle but you should be able to see that the spindle of the motor rotates a lot faster and that the power goes up to just about 9 to 10 volts uh, well we're not going to be able to see it because now the machine thinks it's already warm enough. It's not going through the self-cleaning cycle. Let me see if I can unplug the power um, and try again. Let's see if that coils up the transient memory. The machine is smarter than I thought. Okay, let's, let's try this again. Well, now apparently the machine keeps memory. So right now it's already, the machine thinks it went to the cycle already, which I did before turning back on the video. But um, I can assure you that the spindles turns a lot faster and you can actually hear it. And the voltage at a quick blip up to nine to 10 volts before it stopped. Um, so that's, uh, that's about it. You just have to close back everything up. It took me about 10 minutes to replace the board uh, with all the connectors. Now all I have to do is uh, screw all the screw back in and put the lid back on. Um, and I did this video because I spent quite a lot of time uh, researching, trying to see what the problem was, and I hope this helps somebody else who was in the same process.